This theorem was devised by a French mathematician Michael Rolle. What he said was that if f is a real valued function, which is defined in the closed interval a to b such that there are some conditions the condition first condition is that f is continuous in the closed interval a to b the second condition is f is differentiable in the open interval a to b and the third condition is f of a should be equal to f of b. What he said was if these three conditions are satisfied and f is a real valued function in the interval a to b which is closed then the conclusion is that there is a value c of x in open interval a to b such that f dash c is 0. So, this is the conclusion given the fact that these three conditions are satisfied and f is a real valued function in the closed interval a to v then f dash c is equal to 0. Now the first doubt which comes to my mind is that why do I take open interval here and why have I taken closed interval here. The reason is very simple but I want you to put some thought over it. The reason is that whenever we talk of continuity we take the close interval because we can judge the continuity of a of curve at the end points also. So, if this is a curve we can judge its continuity over the end points. So, we include these two points also, but whenever we have a curve we can, cannot check for differentiability at the end points. So, that is why we exclude the end points when we talk of differentiability. Okay. okay. So, let us come to the theorem. This is the theorem. Now, let us understand how this theorem holds. Let us derive or let us prove this theorem. So, we will discuss the proof of this theorem now. Okay. Now, here it says that f is a real valued function and the first condition is saying that f is continuous in the closed interval. Now, since f is continuous, so the first case can be that f is a constant function. So, let us say I have case 1 as f is a constant function in the whole interval a to b. Now, if f is a constant function, you know that the derivative of f is 0 always. So, Rose theorem satisfied f of a is also f of b and the conclusion of the Rose theorem is saying that f dash c has to be 0 and if f is constant f dash of c is always 0. So, this Rose theorem is verified in this case. Now, let us take the second case when f is not constant. Here f is not constant. So, what happens? Now, since f is not constant, but f is continuous, also f of a is equal to f of b. So, what will happen? When I move slightly higher value than a, then f should either increase or decrease because f is not continuous, f is not constant, sorry, and f is continuous. So, let us say that it increases, it is increasing, okay, as we take some value higher than a. Now, since f is increasing, if it keeps on increasing, then what will happen? It has to decrease to again come to 
the same value of f of a since f of a is equal to f of b. So let's say at some value c it starts decreasing so that it reaches the value p. Okay. So this is my case. Now since at c it has taken the highest value that means what if i takes f c plus h then this quantity is a negative quantity because f c is greater than f c minus f c plus h similarly c minus h is also zero less than zero because fc is has the highest value okay now divide both by h so i get fc plus h minus fc If I take minus h here, then this sign will get reversed. I'll get this. Now let's take the case. If I include here the case where f c was uh, f was constant, then I'll include an equality sign because if it's this is constant, then this is a constant function. Then the function has same value at all points, and this f c plus h is equal to f c so is equal to zero. So I've included all the cases now. Okay. Now. Put the limit h approaches zero. Now, when I put the limit h approaches zero, what is this? What is this? Does this term look familiar to you? And does this term seem familiar to you? Yes, it is. This is the right-hand derivative, and this is the left-hand derivative. Okay. Okay. Now. You see that this quantity, this is zero. This quantity is taking these values, and this quantity is taking these values. Okay. Okay. That means what? These two, let's say, are not equal. Assume that these two are not equal. If these two are not equal, that means what? Right-hand derivative is not equal to left-hand derivative. But this contradicts the statement which I had mentioned that the function is differentiable. That means, since the function is differentiable, these two has to be equal. But when are these two terms equal? Only at this point, okay, at zero. That means what? R H D at C. R H D is equal to L H D is equal to zero, which means what? Is equal to zero, and f c minus h is also equal to zero. If left hand derivative and right hand derivative both are equal to zero, that means what? F dash c is equal to zero. So, since f dash c is equal to zero, my job is done. We have proved the Rolle theorem. Okay.